Last night, the Chippewas arrived in Detroit and checked into their hotel at the MGM Grand. And now it's time for practice as they get prepared to take on the Golden Gophers on Monday at 5 o'clock. We caught up with the head coach, John Bonamigo, and talked with a few players as well. Well, I think it's a, it's a great matchup. I think Minnesota's a very fine football team. They're well coached. Uh, when you look at them, you know, they're big, strong, physical football team. They can run the football. They play good defense. They're very sound in the kicking game. Uh, they played a, a, a very, very difficult schedule, and I think they're a team that's probably better than their record. It's new to me. I haven't done this in a long time as far as, you know, just having this much time to to prepare. You, you don't uh, you don't get that luxury in the NFL. You know, you know, best case scenario in the playoffs, you have a you're, you got to buy the first week, so that gives you an extra week. But uh, and that's always used to rest your team. This is Jesse Kroll's second time playing in Detroit, and he's hoping to pick up his second win. Yeah, this is going to be my second time back here. Um, played in the Little Caesars Bowl a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to be back. The facilities are all really nice, so we're pretty excited. Um, you know, we want to be crisp. We want to make sure that um, you know we do everything right fundamentally and. Um, we just get everything short up for the game. In his final game with the Maroon and Gold, Kayvon Frazier's hoping the Chippewas can pick up their eighth win. It's incredible. Um, you know, I, I'm in lost words. Like I can't even explain how much of an opportunity this is for us to um, get out on the field and you know play in a bowl game, especially versus a Power Five school. You know, no other no other MAC team got that opportunity that we get. Frazier will be the only player to wear Derek Nash's number twice this year and he relishes that honor. Oh, it's, it's really special. Um, uh, me and Derek Nash was really close uh, when he first came in. He wasn't uh, my recruit that I had, but we was always around each other. And then uh, his first year we grown, he was like my little brother. So, you know, it's really special to represent him and represent everything that he went through. And yeah, it's really special. But I couldn't, I couldn't pass it down. I was just like, uh, it's an unbelievable honor. Um, my uh, might as well represent it one more time and represent everything that he did and everything that he went through. So especially him being basically my little brother, um, I, I couldn't pass it down. After practice, tonight the Chippewas were able to have some fun and tried bowling for the first time. It's a mix between bowling and football, and starting quarterback Cooper Rush had a slight advantage. Uh, a lot of fun basically bowling with a football. You just throw it in there, and uh, we're doing pretty well right now. Yeah, first time ever doing this. It's real cool. It's a, a great idea. What an exciting first day for the Chippewas in Detroit. Tomorrow they'll get to celebrate Christmas and spend it with their families as they have the day off. For all your continued coverage of the Quick Lane Bowl, check out CMUChippewas.com. From all of us at Central Michigan Athletics, have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and fire up chips.